I don't feel good. Oh my god. All right, Tommy, are you all right? I can't catch my breath. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna call 911. Oh, my chest was tight. I can't breathe. I had. I'm out running with a colleague of mine, <sighs> and he's just collapsed. He can't breathe. <sighs> okay, thank you. Please hurry. Again, sir? Tommy. I'm Tommy, how old are you, bud? I'm 46. Okay, my name's Randy and this is my partner Mark. He's gonna put some monitors on you and stuff and check your blood pressure and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna give you some oxygen to start and then I'm gonna ask you a bunch of questions to so you know what's going on, okay? Okay. So when did the pain come on? Uh, about 10-15 minutes ago. Okay, and what were you doing at the time? Uh, I was running. Oh, okay. Did you feel sick to your stomach or did you vomit? No, not at all. Okay. How's your breathing? Do you feel short of breath? I do a little bit right now. Now, do you feel short of breath from the running, or does this feel like you just can't catch your breath? I can't catch my breath. Okay. Take a deep breath. Okay. Good. Take another one. What does the pain feel like? Uh, the pain feels tight, like something's pretty heavy. Okay. Does it go anywhere? Do you feel it anywhere than in your chest? I feel a bit in my jaw. Okay. Is it totally there? Yeah. Yeah. Mark's gonna put some more stickers on you, and he's gonna do a cardiogram of your heart. Have you ever had one of those before? No. Oh. Right, that'll give us an electronic picture of what your heart does, and then we'll know if anything's going on with your heart. Okay. Okay. In the meantime, while he's doing that, I'm gonna start an IV as well. Okay. Got a couple more questions for you first. Um, do you have any kind of medical problems? Any medical history at all? No. Do you take any medications on a regular basis? Nope, none at all. Okay. It's a needle poke in your arm. Once it goes in, I'm going to hook up some fluids to it, and then you won't feel a thing, okay? Okay. All right, needle poke right now, Dix. Okay, you need to hold nice and still while Mark's doing this, okay? Are you able to take aspirin, ASA? Yeah. Okay, well, he's doing that. I don't want you to move, but I want you to put these in your mouth, chew them up, and swallow them, okay? It's just two, <coughs> two baby aspirins. Now I look at this, it looks like in the very front here, you have some ST elevation, which means you might be having a heart attack, okay? Are you okay? He's gonna come around the other side of you, Mark's gonna come behind you, all right? Tommy, you still having that pain? Yeah. Is it getting worse or getting better? It's getting worse. Even after the ni that nitro spray, it didn't get any better? Tommy, you with us? I think he's gone into VF, Mark. I'm gonna lay him down. Push, analyze. And if you can get ready to take care of his airway. I'm just charging up here. Okay, all clear? Yep. Check patient. Yep. Alright, check and see if he has a pulse yep. here. He's in third degree block now, so I'm gonna do a quick 12 lead on him here. And get yeah, blood pressure, and I'm gonna call for action, okay? And we can pace him at 80. Okay, we got spikes. Oh. Oh. Alright, we got oh. capture there, guys. Alright, I'm gonna take another blood pressure. How's his airway doing there, Mark? It's good. Is he breathing on his own? He is making fun. Okay, really quick. I got a 46-year-old guy who was out jogging, developed chest pain, shortness of breath. Frontenac County's Patient Simulation Lab, or Sim Lab as it's called, is a mobile emergency medical simulation lab that features a realistic ambulance setting. Sim Man is a full-bodied adult wireless patient simulator, offering comprehensive clinical functionality to teach the core skills such as airway, breathing, circulation, and cardiac management. The two can be used separately or in tandem to create a customized training experience. The first-hand simulation training experiences are designed to bridge the gap between traditional education methods and actual procedures performed on patients. 
The simulation programs offer a safe environment for our emergency medical attendants, primary care paramedics, and advanced care paramedics to become comfortable with even the rarest situations they may face in the field. The equipment offers the flexibility to handle many different training situations. Incident-specific scenarios can even be developed and replayed until the paramedic handles the situation correctly and with confidence. Underlying the county's initial investment in simulation training was the recognition that this method will provide more effective and efficient medical training, ultimately providing the quality of patient care and improving patient safety throughout our region. The field of paramedicine has evolved dramatically over the years and the paramedic scope of practice has expanded. Paramedics of all levels have significantly more knowledge, perform more invasive procedures, and administer more medications than ever before. This has created the need for enhanced educational programs to ensure that paramedics are confident, competent, and safe in their practice. Simulation is an important part of medical training for Frontenac Paramedic Services paramedics. Scenarios are designed to ensure the paramedics have the opportunity to practice protocols and perform high acuity, low frequency procedures in preparation for a real encounter. Paramedics themselves help identify the types of calls they'd like to experience in the mobile simulation lab. Objectives are set for each scenario and follow-up debriefings allow paramedics to evaluate their own successes and opportunities for improvement. There is also the ability to practice communication skills and teamwork. A unique aspect of the mobile simulation training program at FPS is that it is delivered by paramedics for paramedics. Paramedics of various levels of certification and experience have volunteered to become simulation facilitators. These facilitators have been trained to manage all aspects of the mobile simulation program and are responsible for taking the program to their peers on the street. Through this program, FPS has engaged its workforce and challenged paramedics to take the lead in their own continuing medical education. SimLab is a modular unit that's similar to an ambulance that's put on a large truck that we can take to different locations or where we're doing our training. And inside it's very similar to an ambulance except there's uh, extra monitors and uh, feedback items that let us know what's going on uh, during a scenario. Great. And once uh, you understand the process, uh, you're able to get into the scenario and understand what's going on and then treat the patient or sim man like a more real person. That Our environment in the sim lab is monitored by the operators that uh, control the scenarios. Um, and we can stop and ask questions. Um, they want us to talk to sim man as though it were a person. We try to focus on calls that we don't normally do, the rare calls, the ones where one thing leads into another call and you have to change your approach or change your treatment uh, in midstream. Uh, it allows you to uh, recognize what's going on electronically with the patient. You're monitoring uh, heart rate or uh, there are other vital signs. Mm -hmm. Something changes there and that keys you to a change in the patient's condition. Mm -hmm. 